Hi everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use our mobile printing service. This allows you to print from any device wirelessly and send it to the library for pickup. There are a few different ways to do mobile printing and we're going to take a look at the website here first and if you scroll down towards the bottom of the menu you'll find the mobile printing page and here you'll find information about the various methods the first of which is done via email. This is the simplest method but it also has the least amount of options and printing customization, um, and it's, but it's pretty simple to do. You'll just find which kind of style you want to do, whether it's black and white, color, etc. And all you do is send an email to one of these email addresses, attach the document or file you want to print, and then you hit send, and it'll be ready for you at a print kiosk. The second option is to use the web portal, which you can find the link here, or the button and this is what I would recommend if you know printing from your computer or a laptop or something. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward process. First pick what kind of printer style you like. Duplex just means front and back. So if you want to kind of save on paper you can use that. The next step is to put in your email address. This is what you use to pull up your prints at the print kiosk. And the last step is to just browse and upload the file you want to print. Once you have this information filled out, you click on the arrow down here in the bottom right. Here you have some options for how many copies you'd like or if you want a certain amount of pages in the document. And once you click next, it'll scan through it and determine how much it is going to cost. And once it's done calculating, just hit the green button here and then your print job will be sent to our kiosk. The final way to print uses the printer on app, which you can find in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Once you get it downloaded and opened up, the first thing to do is just to make sure we get the Anacortis library selected. So open up the menu, go to search, and you can type in Anacortis. And here you'll see the six options you have to print, black, white, color, etc. Once that's done, you have a few options. You can browse for a document to print, you can link your email to it and search through there, or you can even print a photo. Once you have the document you want to print, on this next screen is where you can get a preview of what you're going to print and change some of the printing options if you would like to. And once those are complete, all you have to do is click the print button, type in your email address, and in the upper right, click the check mark and your print will be sent to our kiosk. Since the library is still closed, you can come get your prints during our curbside pickup hours. Come to the front of the library and park in one of our designated spots. You can give us a call and let us know that you're here to pick up a print and we'll come running out to you. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call.